Hello everyone, this is Catalina from TheDreamingToReality.com and today I'm going to teach you how to decorate or address envelopes with your Cricut machine using iron on. I know, it's not very popular, but you can use iron on on paper and the results are fantastic and I just absolutely love them so so much you have no idea, you're going to see why. Anyway. These envelopes are not to send on your regular mail, but let's say that you're going to a party, a baby shower or a graduation party, a wedding, I don't know, you name it. This is the method that you want to use because it's unique, it's different and it's going to make your envelope stand out so, so much. Before we go to Cricut Design Space, let me show you all the tools and materials we're going to be using to complete this project. today's video I'm gonna be using the Cricut Joy but you can use any Cricut machine to make this project. I'm gonna give the instructions and the tips for other machines as well. I just want to incorporate all of my machines because everyone has different machines and I think it's just fair, right? Can we agree on that? Since we're gonna be using the Cricut Joy, this is the little mat I'm gonna be using to cut the iron on, but you can also use smart vinyl and cut without a mat. However, I'm just gonna stick to the mat. This is the cute envelope I'm gonna be using and if you want the file you can get it on my website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. The type of iron on I'm gonna be using is foil iron on. I really like how it looks on paper but you can use any type of iron on, other colors, whatever is it that you like. To with our design of course I'm gonna be using a weeder tool. To transfer the iron on to the envelope, I'm going to be using the Cricut Easy Press Mini. I love this little tool. This is one of my favorite Cricut tools and I really recommend it to anyone. But there's other mini irons that you can buy at Michael's or you can even use your household iron. But this is what I'm going to be using today along with the Cricut Easy Press mat. Ready to go to Cricut Design Space? I'm here in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to make the design for my envelope. The first thing that we need to do is to create a guideline to make our design. Click here on shapes and square. The size of my envelope is 3 by 5.5 inches and is and I'm gonna change the color here for white. Now that I have my guideline, I'm going to do a cute design for my envelope. I'm going to rotate it so it's easier for me to see. I wanna do the design horizontally. And in my world, this design is for a baby shower. So I'm gonna put congrats and I'm gonna find cute images that look good in the envelope or Let's see what we come up with. So first I'm gonna type in congrats like this. And of course, we wanna use a different font. You can use your system fonts as well. I may even do that. And I'm going to just scroll down until I find something I like. After scrolling like for five minutes, I decided to go with this beautiful font, BFC Scary Skelly. Oh my gosh, cricket names through fun, so funny. <laughs> okay, that's cute. And I'm gonna resize it kind of like to fit my envelope like this. Really cute. This seems a little empty over here, so I'm just going to find a little image that looks good in this little area. It doesn't have to be something complicated, something as simple as a heart or you can look by babe, by the keyword baby. So click on images and I'm gonna start with hearts to see what comes up. All right, here's some hearts. Look at, I found this cute little elephant with a little heart in there, so I'm gonna use it. That's adorable. And then I'm gonna resize it and I'm gonna center. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna be using pink, so I'm just gonna change this for pink and this for pink as well. And I actually want two elephants. So this is what I'm gonna do. You ready? 
I'm gonna duplicate this elephant, but I want them to be facing each other. So select like one of the copies and flip it horizontally. And now we have two elephants. So let's select them both and align them to the top. And that's perfect. Both of our elephants are aligned. I'm going to weld them. And now I'm going to align the elephants with the text. So select them both and I'm going to align them horizontally and now they're 100% aligned. That looks very, extremely cute to me. And I want them all in the same layer. So click on weld. I'm going to resize it a little more. I find it that it would look a little bit cuter if it's a little smaller and that's perfect. I'm gonna select the machine I have. I have the Cricut Joy. And whenever it looks good to you, whatever design you decide to do on your envelope, hide the guideline for your template and click on make it. Make sure your machine is selected, of course. Now the Cricut Joy is gonna ask you if you want to cut without a mat, on a mat, or on card mat. Other machines will have other options. For this case, I'm gonna be choosing on map. And this is how it looks. Something very important to remember is that anytime that you use iron on, you have to mirror your image. Otherwise, things will look backwards when you transfer them and we don't want that. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna cut on mat, but my mat is 4.5 by 12. So I'm just gonna do it like this and click on continue. Let's select the material. I'm gonna be using foil iron on. So browse all materials. If you have a machine with a smart set dial, move it to custom and select material from Cricut Design Space and always leave it on custom. And for other machines, the process is pretty much identical. I'm gonna type in foil to find the type of iron on I'm working with and well, this is something new. I can't find foil iron on in the list of materials. I know for a fact that we can cut foil iron on with the Cricut Joy because it's such a thin material. So I'm gonna pick something that looks very similar. I'm gonna pick a thin holographic iron on. It's very similar. And I'm gonna set the pressure to more. Hopefully it works. If you have any of the other machines, you, should ha you shouldn't you should have any problem finding foil iron on. This is kind of weird that they don't have it. Maybe it won't happen to you. Now let's go to the machine and prepare the mat, load it into the cut. You ready? Let's go. I'm gonna cut the iron on to fit my mat. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a lefty and I gotta tell you that it's so hard to live in a world where everything is designed for right-handed people. It's like everything is backwards. It's funny, funny, funny. Okay. Now I'm gonna place the iron on free side down like this. It is very important that when you're working with iron on, this is how you have to place it. Otherwise, it's just gonna cut the carrier sheet and with a brayer. Let's just smooth everything out. Now I'm gonna load my mat. For the Cricut Joy, you always start your cuts from Cricut Design Space. However, if you have any other machines, you're gonna have a flash and go button that you have to push. So since I am using the Cricut Joy, I'm gonna press on go to start my cut. My machine is done cutting, but since I use my Cricut Joy, I have to unload it from Design Space. If you have other machines, unload from the little arrow button in on your Cricut machine. So click on unload. Perfect. Here is the cut and now I'm going to weed. Whenever I have the chance, I like to weed from the Cricut mat. It's just so much easier. The mat helps to keep everything in place. So you just have fun weeding. A cool tip is that you can get rid of the excess of the iron on by using a true control knife. 
because sometimes we don't want to waste a lot of material. So if we can save something, why not, right? So go like this and then on the other side. So you can have scraps to complete in small details for other projects. And Perfect. I'm done waiting and let's take a closer look. Doesn't that look super cute? Our envelope is gonna look so pretty. Anytime that you use Iron On and the Easy Press, I recommend that you go to Cricut's Heat Guide to see what are the exact settings. So in this case, we have the Cricut Easy Press Mini and the transfer, the type of material that we're using is foil iron on and the base material is going to be cardstock. Uh, my envelope is not ca cardstock, but I'm gonna select cardstock. This is the closer I can get. And here you're gonna have the exact settings that you need. So we need to preheat the Easy Press Mini to low. And Cricut recommends that you use heat resistant tape, but I really don't do it because I've been doing this for a while. But if it's your first time, I recommend that you do use. I recommend that you use heat resistant tape so your design doesn't move. Other than that, make sure that you are placing the design on the right spot of the envelope. And let's just do this real quick. Once your Easy Press Mini reaches the right temperature, just start transferring. You have to be careful. I like to do an initial pass like this. And then I move over everything very carefully that I don't move the design. It takes about 25 seconds or so. When the envelope finishes drying, you can just fill it up very easy like this. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Isn't this just absolutely adorable? Okay, let me get it closer. It just looks straight out of a store. That is just so gorgeous. If I get this envelope, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> I might consider keeping it too. <laughs> I don't ever keep envelopes, so that's how much I like it. <laughs> what type of envelopes would you decorate using this technique? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, this tutorial is complete and I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.